In this chapter, you will learn that the accuracy of the oil content monitor is highly important. You will also be able to identify the common working principles of an oil content monitor and the factors which may affect its accuracy. There are two reasons we need to know about this. Firstly, it will help ensure that we do not pollute the seas. Secondly, it helps provide assurance that we are not breaking the law. At this point, let's mention that in the past, a few individuals have tried to deliberately fool oil content monitoring systems by making illegal connections. Others have deliberately bypassed separating equipment altogether with arrangements that have been referred to as the magic pipe. Such arrangements are illegal and immoral and have led to prosecutions, jail sentences and heavy fines. The oil content monitor will have anti-tamper seals to prevent you altering things that you shouldn't be altering. A 15 ppm bilge alarm must be accurate to within plus or minus 5 ppm, and it must keep this accuracy even if there are other contaminants. The accuracy of the 15 ppm bilge alarms should be checked at the IOPP certificate renewal surveys in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. These accuracy checks can only be done by the manufacturer or persons authorised by the manufacturer. On board the ship, you can re-zero the instrument, but IMO guidelines require that the alarm is activated whenever you use clean water for cleaning or zeroing purposes, which will in turn close the overboard discharge valve. Some manufacturers provide a facility for checking, but not adjusting, calibration without breaking seals or making illegal adjustments. But you need to check the manufacturer's information carefully before doing this. Many of the ways of measuring oil content are based on optical methods, including infrared and ultraviolet light absorption, fluorescence and light scattering. Light absorption measurements are made by passing a beam of light through the treated bilge water and measuring the attenuation, reduction in strength, of the light beam. The degree of light scattering, fluorescence or absorption varies between types of oil and droplet size. Fouling of the optical surfaces can affect the readings. Contaminants other than oil may be present and different types of oil may be present. Fluorescent types are said to be immune to interference by turbidity or particles in the sample because silt, algae, iron oxide and so on do not fluoresce at the same wavelength as oil. However, we should keep in mind that this means that fluorescence types may not detect water contaminated with things other than oil. Most types of detection will be sensitive to the water temperature, but some form of compensation for temperature is usually built into the sensor. The 15 ppm bilge alarm should record date, time and alarm status, and operating status of the 15 ppm bilge separator. The recording device should also store data for at least 18 months and should be able to display or print a protocol for official inspections as required. In the event the 15 ppm bilge alarm is replaced, Means should be provided to ensure the data recorded remains available on board for 18 months. Accurate monitoring of the water we are discharging into the seas is important due to environmental and legal reasons. Practices like the magic pipe are immoral and illegal. They have led to prosecutions, jail sentences and heavy fines. A 15 ppm bilge alarm must be accurate to within plus or minus 5 ppm. An alarm should activate and the overboard discharge valve should close whenever you use clean water for cleaning or zeroing purposes. Oil content measurement is often done by optical methods, including infrared and ultraviolet light absorption, fluorescence and light scattering. 
the accuracy of oil content monitors is affected by the type of oil and droplet size. Fouling of the optical surfaces can affect the readings. Contaminants other than oil may be present, and different types of oil may be present. A 15 ppm bilge monitor should record date, time, and alarm status and operating status of the separator. Data should be stored for at least 18 months.